so guys there is a an update on the akimi's case so now that akimi does not have a dime on his name you know apparently 80 percent of his earnings of his properties of everything he has goes to his mom while the 20 percent remaining goes to tax that is the federal government you know the wife hiba abuk discovered this in a court case that they had where she went to file a divorce they told her that uh, this young man this smart young man have longed wield all his properties in his mom's name so this means that if Akimi wants to go and eat, he has to go with his mom's ATM or call his mom to make a transfer. Because literally, this guy has zero on his name. He doesn't have a shishi. So, let's go into today's gist. Akraf Hakimi said to get half of his wife's net worth after she filed for divorce. <laughs> gang gang. So, uh, guys, I want to know your opinion on this. The wife now have become the haunted. This is like a, a popular proverb that say, the hunter now becoming the haunted. Because now that she, she wanted to have half of the billionaire's uh, wealth, but now the court has turned it against her because she was the one that filed for the divorce not the other way around so she is the one that should provide half of her property the person that she filed the divorce against does not have anything on his name i mean sometimes my gender used to behave somehow that you don't be like thinking is this person a mumusef hiba abok the 36 year old jama fitness coach does not know about this because in the news it says that she caught him cheating that is why she filed for a divorce and requested for half of the 24 year old billionaire's wealth now like this they go they use poor women name everybody go they think say all women are gold digger all women will marry that's what then they do not only the money now they come for but that's not truth you didn't work for this money i mean Put yourself in Akimi's mom's shoes, uh, Madame Fatima. How do you think she will feel knowing fully well that her billionaire son does not have anything anymore? So she will not go back to the streets where they came from. Ah, it's unfair now. It's really unfair. After your son must have toyed and became a billionaire, and all of a sudden his wife will now come and say, ah, that uh, because of the sudden the divorce, therefore say she won't have of it. It's really bad. I did not support that. I will not support that. In a recent interview that Akimi had, I will, let me read it out to you guys so you hear what he said about his mom. He said, Everything I have is for my mom. I cannot afford to lose everything out of divorce. The one who loves me unconditionally is my mom. I love her so much. I took her out of poverty and I cannot afford to send her back. We came from a modest home. My mom cleans the house and dad is a street vendor. We always struggle to earn a living. They deprived my brothers of many things for me to succeed. Hakimi appreciates his mom for everything she has done. So guys, I mean, this guy is just a decent guy trying to make sure his family, you know, never goes back to poverty. Okay? So now, there are so many women, you know, in the world who have become billionaires because of divorce. And Hakimi's wife wants to use the opportunity to also become one of them. Take, for instance... Bugate's wife, that is Matilda Bugate. This lady got a whooping sum of 1.8 billion US dollars, guys. I mean, if I go find her, that's her picture. So now Hakimi thought, I mean, Hakimi's wife thought she can also do the same thing, but sorry for how Otilo for her. You understand? So let me hear in your comment section what you guys have to say about this saga. 
and what is your own opinion because i have just had my own opinion thank you guys see you in my next video please subscribe thanks bye